Hello and welcome to a new series on the channel. This one we're going a bit back in time and look at one of the older games in my inventory but actually it's still an enjoyable one. We're looking at the East India Company um, game, the Designers Cut version, um, originally released in 2009. Um, it was made by Nitro Game and uh, released by Paradox. East India Company, as the name suggests, is a trading simulator um, where you take control of one of the um, main European powers, uh, East India Company, and try to um, beat the competition by either trade or diplomacy or uh, direct war, actually. Um, the game is as I said from 2009 so some of the graphics will show the age and some of the features as well but I still find it pretty enjoyable um, we'll be doing a single player campaign but we do have uh, options to go through the tutorial um, do some multiplayer if you want to do that and as you go into single player there are battle instances where you do quick battles or certain battles or if you have some of the DLCs you can do the battle of Trafalgar now we'll be heading into a campaign here and you have eight factions to choose from um, you have the British obviously and you have the Holy Roman Empire Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Denmark, France and the Netherlands and it's probably not going to come as a big surprise but we're going to be taking the part of the day so it'll be in this lovely chat over here now you have different campaign settings and that will change your times like doing a grand campaign, complete all the campaign missions, conquer all 12 Indian ports or forcing other companies to resign um, and you have 150 years to do so. Some of the other campaigns you have, you have free campaigns, still give you 150 years to do so and you can force them out but you will not be as restricted and that's what we're going to go for. You also can do the Battle for Resources with 50 years, uh, Struggle for Domain, another 50 years but with all the re um, ships available, and then back to the Grand Campaign. We'll do the free campaign for now. I'll take off display tips if you want to, there's tool tips to be found in game. I'll try to explain as much as we go through. Campaign and Battle Realism will set to normal, it has been a while since I've played the game, but it should be fine. So, let's get into it. And here we are on the world map in our home port of Copenhagen. Now, I'll show you the starting location. It's the company of the Swedes right next to us in uh, Göteborg. Of Bremen, where you have your Holy Roman Empire. Amsterdam has the Dutch. London, the Brits. Marseille, the French. Barcelona has the Spanish. Uh, and Lisbon has the Portuguese. Now this is East India Trade Company, so as you will see by the map on the bottom left, this is our entire area. We have Africa around it, um, and then you have the Indian ports over here. These icons with the white buildings indicates home ports for a trade company. Other ports have uh, barrels and crates as generic items. As we go down the coast of Africa, you see the items outside the ports change. We have ivory, gold, diamonds coming over here. We have uh, furs, up here is coffee. And then as we get to India, we have the spices, the tea, the silk, and the porcelain, which are the premium trade items. Now, um, it is a trading simulator, but there is combat. You can engage in combat uh, with other companies or with pirates. And that is another way to drive them out, simply reducing their profits. Um, but for now, let's head into Copenhagen and see the port view. As you open the port information tab, you have uh, four different tabs in here. First is the port view. It will tell you what fleets you have in the port and none at the moment and what type of buildings are in the port you can go into the trading and see what items they have to for you to buy and take elsewhere and sell uh, whatever you have in the warehouse if it's a home port or or control port you can have a warehouse and store stuff new ships you have a construction tab you see how much we have zero ships being constructed none in queue 
and we have one Finnish cutter. This is our starting ship. Two different tabs. We can either select trade ships, or, uh, trade ships, or warships. The warships range from a cutter all the way up to a ship with the line 90 guns, but they are hidden behind um, certain years you have to reach, and then you have to pay to unlock them. So if you take the galleon, for example. It is available, but I have to spend £150,000 to unlock it. Trade is a bit the same for now. I can do sloops, I can do schooners, uh, bricks, but I have to pay 100000 to unlock them. Same for the flute, 150 And from uh, year 1650, I'll be able to actually unlock and build the stadium and provide I have the cash. So for now, we'll make a fleet out of our single cutter. There's no icon here, give it a name. For the trade ships, I'll do female names, and for the warships, we'll do something different. So, first off, Marie will be your first ship. Now, we don't have a system fleet in port, so I can add the ship there. So, we press here, create ship a new fleet, to and we we'll get a captain sir. here. Roland Kofold. Uh, he's 24 years of age, costs 500 a year, he has zero levels and no skills. As we go into the trading, we can select Roland and we can trade stuff over to his um, fleet. So the first thing we're going to do is buy all the silver what we can. Um, the cutter only has a 10 ton capacity, so he's not going to be able to carry much. Um, and Filling it up, we'll do the silver. And you see, we just bought something and it reduced our starting prices. So let's send him off somewhere. Anyway. Fleet now, commander ready for duty, sir. I could go all the way to India, where the expensive stuff is, but I don't have the capacity to go there. So I want to go to something that doesn't weigh much but has a high income. So if you check gold, at currently it's 105, uh, 105 pounds um, profit per item. Diamonds 149 this port. Um, should probably go for some diamonds. We could. Nah, I was not worth Now we click on the ready. icon what and we'll send him off to Bengala. That port is an excellent place to anchor our fleet. And he'll be slowly sailing down there. Now, as he sails down there, I'll just quickly explain what you can do. With Awaiting the command, sir. You have five uh, or six tabs down here. You can select them to go home, anchor, and stop and hold. You can set up patrol routes, and patrol routes can be aggressive or defensive. Um, but you can have warships or trade ships just patrolling back and forth in the stretch of the sea. You can set up trade routes, we'll do a bit later when we get ships to do it. You can attack ports and you can set whether they go cautious, neutral, hostile or aggressive. But for now let's increase the speed. As he goes to Africa, I'll just quickly explain some of the other menus. We have the home port. Hey! First time in Africa, pop up. And you'll notice he stops along his way to resupply and take on fresh provisions that will cost you as well up here you have the time you can go to your home pool time compression game information tab will go over them as campaign status trade information so you can get information on all the uh, uh, the prices of all the main items um, diplomacy between the other factions their stands you can go into negotiations with them statistics and wealth and money we're not doing too good at the moment um, and every year you'll get a financial report um, out yeah, to see how you're doing now we're almost here in the port as you just go back and forth you don't get pop-ups or automatically pause in the game as you reach port you see the time compression just goes on somewhere else Simply pause the game for a bit. I will go into Bengala. Now Bengala is a neutral port as it stands for now. We can take over ports. Um, this one doesn't really have a garrison. Trade post, a small shipyard, a warehouse, no fort either. 
but its main export is diamond and you'll see it will generate me 160 pounds as profit per carat and it has 60 carats available so go into trading I'll buy up all the diamonds I can uh, by Roland but click sell all his items first buy all the items I can and we'll send them back home we are awaiting understood now this is manual control I'm not setting up trade routes yet but we will be soon what we want to do is get a bit of profit going and as soon as we do we'll be buying more ships um, and starting to bring stuff home like either ivory or maybe something exotic first from some big um, once we have two better trade ships than the cutter we'll be going off to the Indias almost home and you'll see the other company's ships go by you but the only new ships you cannot see where they are on the world map so you have to have ships that should be actually able to spot the others uh, fleets and at a certain point you can actually attack those fleets so now sell all we get a bit of an increase in profit sell all um, silver let's just take 10 tons of weapons and sell them in Africa training pop up gold 128 diamonds 149 we'll be going to diamonds again I think what are our orders? Gold and Blanda. 28 kilos. Ivory is not that good. So, we'll just do some quick profits. And we'll what are our setting orders. sail to port? Now, we do have a bit of profit uh, as well. So, if we go in here under the new ship tab, we'll be going into trade ships and we'll be building a schooner. I want to get two of these done as, fairly, uh, as quickly as I can. But you don't want to spend all your money as your fleets are heading out. You want to spend your money as your fleets are coming home with the profit. And um, as they're on the way, you don't have to wait for them to get home and sell their wares. But as they're heading home, so you make sure that you have enough money to fill up their hold as they go along. Now I'll be going back and forth and just doing a bit of profit um, and waiting for the other ship to be constructed. Oh, that's now. Pause the game for a second. You see you get a pop up in the bottom right hand. Because we have a schooner ready in Copenhagen. And a year's gone by so we get the annual profit. Um, you can see how much gold, goods and ships and mission rewards you get. The stuff you get from captured ports and the loan seas. Uh, how much you've sold and salaries and upkeep and all that sort. So we're down by like 17,000 because we haven't really generated that much income yet. Um, yep, yeah, it'll increase over time. Take points to make money, right? Now down here, sell all the guns, spend all our money on gold. The fleet is at yes. Now once he gets home we will be adding the schooner to his fleet and we'll be picking up probably some furs from over here. Or sending him off to India, I'm not sure. We might actually You know what? Let's do something different. Um, usually I would go for ivory because it's pretty close. It's just not that big at the moment. Um, yeah, we'll make more on gold. We'll go back to our home port, new ships, the schooner, and we'll create a new fleet now. Kaya, yeah, fair enough. God's name. New fleet. Ship transferred to another and fleet. We sir. have just off our back. Check him out. Um, Shut down, see his Fleets, skills. yes, sir. Doesn't have any skills, 30 years old. 
level zero. I know, sorry. Right. We are awaiting so, orders. So. Trade. We don't really have any money for him to trade. We'll just go bare bone over there for now. Take the fleet him. is awaiting your orders, sir. I will go off to India with Full him. sails, lads. We're off to India. I'll take him quite a while to reach India. Um, remember, we do have time to impress in sector 4. But hopefully we'll make a bit of money um, in the meantime with the other guy. Go for salon. Fifty forty eight. How many carrots? Sixty four. Fifty eight kilos. I keep clicking the um, the info tab up here. It's something we need clicking. We are ready. Why don't you get to see some pop chimpanzees this time? But we should be able to do an Africa run back and forth before we reach India. We do want to keep an eye on, on the other companies. Um, other companies, um, how they are actually doing and stuff like that. Uh, we can't attack them yet, it hasn't been sanctioned by the king, but... Later on, we can actually attack them, take over their ships and steal whatever they've bought. And it's a, it's a good way to drive them out of business, actually. So, the fleet is Africa waiting for again. command, sir. Oops, plant's going down. Yeah, we're not doing good. The fleet Go is down. waiting for command, command, sailing sir. to port. Pick up some diamonds instead. Diamonds. Uh, you'll see there's other stuff available, but, but you want to uh, min max your profit as much as you can. So buy that. Yes, sir. Home. back to uh, your Hopefully, he reaches home. Fleet before is the fleet is ready for action. And he sir. doesn't. So, right now, we have a fleet arriving in India, but no money to cap line. So. Um, but we arrive in India for the first time, and it gives us a bit of a startup bonus for the first time to read India, get 50,000. Um, not sure that's enough to actually fill my fleet now. Um, let's see. I have 40 ton cargo capacity. That's enough. Oh, not enough. I don't want to buy that. I want to buy spices. So yeah, I cannot fill up with what I have, so I'm going to wait until the other guy reaches home. The fleet is your fleet is at your service. Once this guy reaches home, we'll fill up the other one and have that head home. And it should net us um, a profit big enough to buy another ship and expand our fleet in that way. Hopefully we have enough money spare. Um, once he's full over here and we can actually start the production of the ship that's it's ready when he heads or when he gets home. We'll see the other guys home soon. The fleet is waiting for command, sir. There we go. So all anything worth trading here actually. Tobacco, maybe. Oh, let's fill up the other guy. Uh, sorry for keeping trying the The fleet filter. is at commander ready, sir. Commander ready. Re awaiting command, sir. Trading spices, that one. Buy it all. What are our vehicles set to home? That the fleet. Guy. Do you have new orders for us? Trading tobacco. But it's a bit annoying. You have to click on the icon or the ship you want to trade to in the beginning before it'll actually transfer. But this one is. That guy. What shall we do, sir? Gold, 132. 143. 
167. We'll go. The fleet is at your service. Ah, good choice, sir. There are excellent taverns there. Let's see a financial report. Here. Only down by six thousand by now, and we bought a new ship, so we're we're making money. That's why they sail. Just take. Don't pause. What they say. Take uh, statistics. We're our actually second best at the moment, but this will swing up and down depending on how much money people spend on buying stuff and how much stuff you are bringing home. So it pops up and down. Um, usually, at some point, Portugal will be jumping ahead, and that's simply because of the starting position. Um, like Sweden has the furthest to sail, um, or Portugal has easiest access to all the trade ports. What are our orders? Ready the Gali. So let's back on up that much, really. Um, buy all we can. The fleet is at your immediately, home. sir. Now I won't be able to actually fill up. Um, the fleet is waiting for command, sir. My ships with it, or uh, fill up completely with the gold or diamonds, and I don't have enough money to actually make the ship, so I might hold that convoy back, create a new ship, and then head out again. Let's bring them both home, trade all we can. Hold on. See, Spanish has made a pact with the Portuguese. Means these guys are starting to get friendly, um, which means that if you attack one, it will have an effect on the other one, stuff like that. So let's get our ships home. The second fleet come in. There we go. Once again. First up, let's trade. Mustafa, sell it all at pretty decent profit here. Double our starting funds. Training the other guy. Sell it all. Now what I'm going to do is actually build a new ship on the way out. We're going to be building another schooner. And hopefully that will make... Um, Make it so we can actually. Let's. If we build two. Oh, uh, that one. Remove that one. So it's building one at a time. We'll wait four months before we send off our India convoy, but for now we'll do an African convoy. Uh, with ships first. And when they head back, we should have the other one ready and do another India convoy. So. Check the ivory price. Ivory is starting to pay off, so we'll take this New guy. Orders. Destination down to get some ivory. Africa. The this fleet guy. is yours to command, sir. Gold and diamonds. Diamonds down here. The fleet is awaiting your We're orders. We're on our way to that port. And we'll let these two guys get on their way and return home, make a profit. We'll put the other ship on. And then we'll head back to India. So speed up the process a bit. Now a demand for silver in Bengala, so if we can capitalize on that next run, it would be that bad. Spanish made a pact with the British. How dare they? This guy's ready to trade. Here. Then I'm up. 
fleet is waiting for Heading for home. Support. And the ship's ready. Nice. Port. Buy all the diamonds you can. Awaiting commands, sir. Back to Europe. Back to home. Well, we'll get our two ships home. We'll um, add the um, new schooner to the India convoy and we'll send them off. And um, in the next episode, we'll be setting up a trade route with a certain Indian port. And hopefully that will make it so that we actually start increasing our profits and progressing a bit more. See, French made a pact with these Swedes. No one wants to do pact with me. I haven't asked either, so. I have one home. Trade with Truffers. Sell all the ivory. Go to new ships. Schooner. Make it the Julia. Julie, depending on where you're from. Ship Add transferred to, the fleet. to another fleet, sir. And now we'll click the this fleet guy. is yours to command, sir. Click the trade route button. And then right click on the port we want to trade with. So Trading is, is our good. business. Sending him off. Now I have money spare, but I don't want to spend all my money before he gets there, so sell all the diamonds. I want to make sure I have enough money to fill this guy up. I could tell him to wait as we get over there, but... Anyway, I'm going on. This guy's heading off to India. The other one's going to be going back to Africa. I will be continuing in the next episode. So, until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe.